I saw Oliver Dowden being interviewed yesterday when he said that Gary Lineker should swim in his lane or something. I did wonder for a moment whether he thought Gary was a swimmer rather than a footballer back in the day. But you sort of think, obviously, it's Oliver Dowden talking. So you have to have a, a, a modicum of um, recognition that the man's a complete flump. But, I mean, it's quite scary when members of government tell citizens not to express political opinions, isn't it? And then I thought, I thought, didn't Boris Johnson put Ian Botham in the House of Lords? Ian Botham, of course, a famous cricketer. whose heyday coincided, I think, pretty much with Gary Lineker's on on the football pitch. Didn't Boris Johnson put Ian Botham in the House of Lords, I thought? And then I thought, yes, he did. Not only did Boris Johnson put Ian Botham in the House of Lords, Liz Truss made him a trade envoy to Australia. Liz Truss made Ian Botham a trade envoy to Australia. And yet, for Oliver Dowden, who obviously has been in the same governments as Liz Truss... Gary Lineker, uh, sharing essentially evidence-based and compassionate opinions about government policy and government language, should somehow be silenced, or at least uh, Dowden should call upon him to be silent. Um, If you wonder why Ian Botham ended up in the House of Lords, you'll get a point here. So he actually said in, in an early interview after being ennobled, anyway, I'm enjoying it and we'll be at Westminster more often when we get back to normal, especially when they are debating something I know about, like sport or the countryside. <laughs> Not much point if it's a trade deal with Japan. And the interviewer asked him, what about Brexit? We find ourselves in different corners on that. And Ian Botham replied, that doesn't matter, mate. We won. So that's the kind of former sportsman that can be put in the House of Lords where he can laugh about knowing nothing about trade and then can be made a trade envoy to Australia by, just checking the dates, by, it would have been Boris Johnson in August 2021 when Liz Truss was still um, faffing about pretending that the trade deals she was signing were valuable or special or consequences of Brexit, a tactic now fully adopted by Kemi Badenoch.